Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today is June 18th, 2020, and this is my bi-weekly grow update. Okay, I'll start with my porch plants. Uh, this is the Kingstar Lemon Starburst in the Sephora container. It's a three-year-old plant. And I've, I've got some uh, nutrient called Mega Crop that Tepper Donkey sent me a few years ago. And it's, it's designed for cannabis, but but I want to try it for peppers because I've got it. And uh, so I'm, I'm just about a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago, I switched this over from Master Blend to Mega Crop. It's actually looking really good. The, a lot of new new growth on it, a lot of new bloom sites. So a few little peppers showing up. It's just like an all-in-one solution. It's a powder that you just mix in uh, like four grams and a gallon of water. It's real easy to mix. So, so anyway, I'm trying that out. Uh, this is my white sage. It's not done a ton of growing since I transplanted it, but it has done some. It's in a little winking setup. Cracky tote with um, Reaper Tally. And this is uh, Kingston Yellow. This one's not looking the best, but there's a transition period with any of these when you move them. And it's just starting to uh, put out some some new roots so those um they should look better in time and some more um plants in a wicking set set up these are wicking out of a 17 gallon tote it's a chocolate bootless cs this batman big bat red looks really good there's a palmyra it's got a fruit on it and this is a it's a bacotum called rainforest it's got a few little few little pods on it this is a Kangstar Cross in the 60 gallon pickle barrel. It's a large cracky setup. Uh, this is called Langria. It's a Lenzo crossed with Sangria. Um, I think this is an F2. So it's starting to put out a bunch of, bunch of little, little peppers on it. So I anticipate this should do a lot. It's just growing quite a bit, but it should um, hopefully get really big and produce a lot. But it's got a bunch of fruits starting to set on it already so follow that over the season got a few self warning containers this is a dragon's breath um this is a ghostly jalapeno and uh, this is starting to put out a lot of new growth with a bunch of little uh, bud sites let's see i'll show you my small um three gallon containers this is a bikino white um Peach star kiss. This one doesn't look very good. Um, these have been getting attacked by slugs, and uh, it's like it's getting a little too much nutrient, maybe from the slow release. Uh, this is uh, the mystery one. I don't know yet what it is until it produces. I might be able to figure it out. When it blooms, I might be able to narrow it down, but uh, I'm not sure what that is yet. This is uh, Blue Christmas. It's actually growing quite a bit and it's starting to produce a lot of little fruits on there. And these have gotten really attacked by slugs. Uh, starting to grow back. This is the Chocolate Naga Brain. Looks terrible but actually better than what it did. This is ACNY Cross of Bubblegum 7F3 Yellow. Again, this looked terrible, <clears throat> so it doesn't look great, but it's it's growing back. It's Boot Solid Gold. It's Primo X Nut Chocolate. Um, Jimmy Johnson. It's actually looking better than it did. And this MA Mutant X from Jimmy Johnson actually is looking better than it did. This is the Thai Yellow Long. Looks good. This is a Faria. This doesn't look as good as the one in the five gallon bucket, but it's starting to improve from what it was. It's done a lot of growing the last two weeks. And this is a Peri Peri. We've got some peppers on there. It's doing well. Okay, these are my main drip plants. We had a lot of rain the last few days um, and colder temps, but these are looking, looking better than last time. This is the Ahi Chochamba. Um, this mainstream peach I think looks really good. It's done a lot of growing. No fruits yet, but it's um, got some flowers. This is a Bahamian Beast version 2. 
It's another uh, he rainforest, and it's got some fruits on it as well. It's a chaos, old school boot. This is um, a psalm. Got the seeds from Booker Butt. Haven't grown this one before, but it's looking pretty good. Um, Ahi Chombo. This is uh, seeds from Higo Vera. Kind of like a habanero type from Panama. It's another Batman Big Bat Red. It's doing well. Here's an um, Ancient Sweet. It's growing pretty tall. There's a few flowers, no pods yet. The sweet Shito is my cross, so she Shito crossed with Stavros. And we got some peppers on there. Here's my other Faria plant. I think it's another Scotch bonnet, habanero type. This one looks better than the one in the three gallon container. This is a Drama Queen. Its growth has kind of slowed down, but it's, it's looking okay. And the Chocolate Bootless CS. This one's kind of mostly okay. It's got a few leaf issues, but yeah, this is a Mad Ball 7. Uh, it's a Bondo Majot cross. This is the Reaper Tally in the 17 gallon container. So it's pretty nice growth on it. And this is the other 17 gallon setup. It's the Chocolate Ghost Jammy. It's a three-way solid boot gold cross. It's the California Reaper. It's the uh, Ahi uh, Yuyo. Uh, this one I think I mislabeled. I got it labeled as Trinidad X-Strain variant. I think it's that solid boot cross. It's the Hurtberry. It's done a lot of growing since the last grow update. I'll try to show a pic here comparing it. But it's done a lot of production there. It's my Weary Weary. Staracha Hornet. That's my Daddle Plant. Chupatino Peach. Another Kankstar Lemon Starburst. Uh, this is my Palmyra. It's a, this one's a pretty short plant. I've got two fruits on here. It's a Mango Big Hab and the Avon uh, Kingsta Yellow. It's my Gochi plant. Korean pepper. It's my other um, Thai Yellow Long in a five gallon container. And this is my other Peri Peri. I don't know my thoughts. Um, some of these look really good. Some have a common leaf issue uh, like this. Like literally two days ago, this looked perfect. But now I'm getting some weirdness. I'm thinking maybe with the rain and um, weather changes, you know, maybe there's too much release of nutrient from the slow release. And the slow release is kind of a gamble because... The application rate suggestions a pretty significant range and you have to kind of guess within that and then temperature and water and microbial activity can affect the release rate so it's never 100 percent but typically when i've seen this happen the plants generally grow out of it as they get bigger they're able to adapt to it better so i'm not really too worried yet i haven't getting a lot of um, insect damage too but, um, so I'm not overly worried. These don't all look the best, but I think these are going to be okay. Uh, anyway, just follow every couple weeks. I try to post an update. I'll show you how, um, how these are doing. So anyway, so that's my update for June 18th, 2020. And I'll be back in a couple weeks. Show you the progress. And, um, thank you very much for watching. Hope you like that. Please like, comment, and subscribe.